So sometimes we're having to repeat ourselves because people don't understand what we're saying. Now, it could be because you've got a, a strong accent. It can be because you're mumbling and you're not moving your mouth enough. You're not moving your tongue enough. Everything is kind of like lifeless. There's no sounds of consonants. There's no sounds of um, vowels. Everything is like not fully pronounced. For example, syllables, you can't even hear syllables. For example, the word um, opportunity, okay? Opportunity, right? That's five syllables that I need to pronounce. If you say opportunity, opportunity really fast because speaking too fast causes that too. We need to pause and break things up clearly so people can understand us because speaking is important, because understanding is important. We slow it down just like I am because I want you to understand what it is that I'm saying. So opportunity, each one of those syllables has consonants that are like book covers and in the middle, of not book, bookends, and in the middle is a vowel. The vowel carries the energy or the music the sound, the pitch, the frequency of what it is that you say. So you want to make sure you're covering that. If you speak fast, you got to, you need to make sure that you're saying opportunity, opportunity, not opportunity. Now, I, I may not understand that if you're mumbling it or going too fast. So we want to make sure every syllable is pronounced, every consonant is pronounced, and the vowel in the middle is heard clearly. So sometimes it'll require you to go slower to record yourself, listen back, watch the video also because you can see your body language. If you're crouching over like this, you haven't got enough breath. You need to have your shoulders back, nice deep breath because without breath, we don't have fuel. Yeah. So we need to make sure we breathe properly, shoulders back, your, your, your chin out and it will project more. So there's all this attention to detail about voice that's important to have that presence of I want to be heard. So I want to be heard means that you will speak in a way that you will be heard by stressing some words. Sometimes you're going to pause. Sometimes you're going to lift the pitch. I, you know what? I was surprised that you said that to me and I will never do that again. So I was surprised that you did that to me and I will never do that again. So I'm going up and I'm going down. You can use the staircase effect that my name is Maria, your name is Jack. So I'm going up the stairs, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, 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 one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, 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 three, 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 two, one. Zero, 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 zero. To see, so I'm, I'm speaking at different frequencies to change the conversation. Now, when you're speaking from the heart and you're connected to the intent of what you're saying, you will find you will do this naturally. Some cultures do it better than others because they're more expressive, they're more in the body rather than in the thinking. But you'll find that even your gestures, your hands, your voice, everything works together. The modulation, the movement of the voice, the melody of the voice which is really important to help others not only hear you, understand you, but to feel you, okay? They need to feel the importance of what you're saying by you stressing some words, changing the pitch, because that will trigger the amygdala of the brain, which is the limbic system. The limbic system is the nervous system of the body that triggers the memory of what you say the emotion of what you say. And that is how we store information about you know what's important, what's not, what we can remember, what we don't. If you're boring, if you're interesting, if you've got any authority, if you've got any power, if they're going to trust you, if they're not going to trust you. All of that is based on how people perceive your voice in the first seven seconds. Okay, And research shows that those who have more charisma in their voice will be chosen as the, as the favorite even politicians are chosen research says they're chosen based on their charisma rather than the words that they're speaking people are attracted to energetic confident charisma however we don't want to overdo it and do it artificially but 
Do you get the point? That energy in our voice is important and articulation, presence, making sure everything's really, really clear by using your mouth, going in front of the mirror, making sure you can screw up your face or do some, you're chewing, moving your jaw, you're doing that swallowing effect like babies who don't have teeth. What do they do with their tongue? Mm, mm, as, as they're swallowing their food, they have no teeth to chew. Mm, and you're learning to use all these muscles in your face that you wouldn't usually do it. And you'll make these funny sounds, you'll look weird, but you do this as a practice to move your face, move your jaw, chew it, move the tongue. All of that gives you more energy when you speak and more attention and makes other people hear you better.